loves happy mother's day today is sunday we have just had the morning to ourselves and i've just well just about got up showered after just sort of lounging about all morning and today marcus declared it is my day i'm just gonna sit and i'm just going to chill and i'm just gonna pamper myself all day <laughs> it's not often that you get a day dedicated to, to yourself aside from like birthdays so I just thought I'm going to take it all in, I'm going to accept, you know, the cooking that he wants to do, the cleaning that he wants to do, he's currently cleaning our sofa downstairs and I'm just going to embrace it all and just take the day for myself. So yeah, we had a <laughs> an eventful morning, so Mark's like, oh what do you want for breakfast? And I was like, oh let's have like beans, toast, egg and he came up with bratta and egg and beans and if you don't know what bratta is, it's like a chapati but with like butter and I was like no Marcus what I was like okay bread and egg you can eat but with beans I was like oh I'm sorry I can't have that and he's like you're joking I just thought it'd be a nice twist I was like that is weird and he's like well how was I supposed to know <laughs> so not to be ungrateful but his choice of breakfast just wasn't for me this morning anyways as I said I'm gonna go ahead and pamper myself today and I'm gonna I've been saying for ages I'm gonna show you guys just like an up-to-date sort of skincare routine and what I've been doing and what I've been using so I just thought today's the day because I've actually got time to sit down and go through it with you properly that I'll talk you through what it is that I have been using for my skin because I honestly can't say that I have with this much confidence ever said to you guys that I'm so happy with my skin right now like my skin for me I, I don't know if it look like it to you but for me it's on another level right now and I'm just so incredibly pleased with it I just can't even tell you and it's all thanks obviously the products I'm using and honestly it's just I am just so happy with it and I've never been at this stage this happy with it Ever before so yeah I just thought I'd quickly sit down and talk you through what it is I'm using part of the video is kindly sponsored by for real now you would have seen after I got out of the shower I used I used this new little device oh Alaska's joined us I used this little new device this is the Luna 3 so this just helps me when I'm exfoliating my skin so when I'm using my cleanser this just helps me with that and also it has like different settings on there so you can go ahead and massage your face and lots of cool new things about this uh i will go into more depth about it in another video for you but for now this honestly after i use it and i've cleansed my face i just feel like it helps me cleanse it so well and really get into like the nooks and crannies that i can't necessarily scrub myself that well with just my hands so i've really been enjoying using that so that's what you saw me use earlier but going back to the main event i will be showing you once again how i use my frio ufo2 you guys know i'm a huge huge fan of this it's just a solid part of my skincare routine and oh alaska she's just knocking everything over and on just on days where i just want to really pamper myself this is the first thing that i go ahead and i reach to so to start off with i'm going to go ahead and do a face mask as the first thing i do so my face it feels really dry right now but this mask in particular the manuka honey one i really like the way it leaves my skin feeling and i just feel like i need a bit of a head start before i start with the rest of my skincare so you guys have seen me do this before i'm just gonna go ahead and load up my app i'm gonna go ahead and attach my mask honestly going back to me mentioning how happy i am with my skin like i have just become so confident with it and my skin's not perfect i think it's very rare that you'll find someone who says that their skin is perfect but there's just still i've just have so much happiness with it just because i i can see masses of improvement since using the ufo2 just in terms of even i use it to apply my other serums as well and i feel like that just helps them get absorbed so much better than what they would normally would do because it really does help like the pulsations really just help it absorb into your skin and it's just not something that you would get by just by you know popping it on yourself mask to your device by clipping the attachment ring and distributing mask essence evenly 
so that is my second mask done i'm just gonna let that absorb into my skin and honestly you've probably seen the difference immediately because you guys have just seen my skin before and now you'll just see it after and just like how immediately how bright it looks so now that that is nicely absorbed into my skin i always love doing that because my skin just feels oh, so nice and plump yeah now that's been absorbed into my skin i'm gonna go ahead and quickly pop on a eye cream i've just been using this ph formula eye cream and i'm just gonna put that on so this is something that i do every day a little tip for you always apply this is what i've always been told always apply any eye creams with your ring finger because apparently that has the lightest pressure on your eye area because it's quite sensitive now that that's done i'm gonna go ahead and use my abaji clarifying serum i really like using the ufo too for it because i know that that just helps it really get into my skin and i'm getting the maximum benefit out of my serum so i'm going to show you quickly how i do that so i've got my ufo 2 there now i'm going to go on to smart control so smart control is what allows you to be able to pick what led light therapy you want what pulsations you want how strong you want it to be you can have the temperature whether you want it cool or whether you want it warm so i'm just going to get this started i'm going to beauty i'm gonna show you how cool this is right so now i'm on green and look i'm literally just changing the led light therapy just on the app how insanely cool is that so i'm gonna go for red there we go then i'm going to up the pulsations i like it quite high what temperature i'm just gonna go for heat pop that onto my skin I've got a bit of eye cream there right and that is my serum all into my skin i am done with my skincare i am gonna go ahead and find a lip uh balm to pop on because my lips feel a little bit dry but other than that i mean i'm done i cannot even tell you how incredibly soft my skin feels to touch right now and like i said you guys you can still see it i still have like the imperfections but the overall of my skin and just how uh, even my skin tone has become i'm just so pleased with it i've just never been at this stage in my life ever but yes you guys thank you so much for free for that part of the video i'll leave the link in the description box for you so you can go ahead and shop the Furio collection and yes time to go downstairs i think marcus and i are gonna go and make pancakes possibly so i'm gonna just go see what we're doing today how pretty are my mother's day flowers so beautiful these are just so spring i'm obsessed with them marcus said he tried to find me some flowers but he couldn't find any but i'm very happy with these i think that purple in there it's just such, such a pretty bouquet quickly show you what marcus and mia got me for mother's day so they got me this scratch mat because we plan to hopefully travel a lot is the plan and you literally just scratch off the places that you've been so it's very cute Max and i can scratch off a couple already so we'll be doing that and my sweet sweet husband is forever adding to my perfume collection ah there we go he picked me up this perfume i've already opened this oh it is the mansira rose vanilla a roses vanilla should i say this is beautiful it reminds me of my childhood it reminds me of the perfume my mum used to wear when i was younger and honestly when i smelt it i was really emotional about it because i was like oh my god that is such a beautiful childhood memory so marcus yeah he did well with that one he didn't buy that intentionally he had no idea what perfume my mum used to wear when we were younger so i'm actually gonna take this for my mum to smell because she i know she'll be obsessed with it if you like a sweet vanilla scent however it still has like quite musk to it like a bit of an oody scent to it this is the perfect one i think i might actually spray some on right now as well just you know come out of the shower i'm nice relaxed and pampered and might as well smell good too but it is such a beautiful scent oh happy mother's day so happy mother's day we are gonna make some pancakes now after marcus tried to feed me prata and beans this morning you got your kitty hops what did you buy me what did you buy me that your dad didn't buy me, really? <coughs> oh.
Now this might not look like much to anyone else, but we've, tr we've just eaten these and tried them and they are so delicious. Very similar to the Cinnabon we have from Tesco, except it's like these massive fluffy pancakes. They don't look that great on camera, I'm not going to lie, but in reality they are yum. You just woke up from your nap? You have a nice nap? No? So we are quickly on my way on our way head to my mum's house to drop off her mother's day gift uh amia is in the back and she is not a happy baby she's very cranky she will be ready for bed in what an hour marcus mm -hmm. i've got a feeling she'll fall asleep in the car you know no oh, she no, hasn't no she now. hasn't no she's wide awake waiting for baby shark to come back on again so i'm gonna have to go pop that on for her um she's gonna start crying now <laughs> yeah there we go right i'll have to catch up with you after so guys, we have just got back from my mum's. I literally went in my night clothes because, like I said, today was a chill day. You don't say bye bye yet, baby. We're gonna get you ready for bed, bed. Can get me something to eat and then get ready for bed. Marcus and I are gonna order out today because why not? It's our relaxing day. Or it was relaxing. Hey, you're gonna fall. Oh my god, is this a mother's life or what? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and Mark and I are gonna get some food from outside. I'm still going for a little bit of a healthy option. I'm getting a chicken and rice. I was gonna get Nando's, but then Mark has made the executive decision to get a different takeout because we're starting we're starting to eat healthy tomorrow, apparently. I've been saying this for a while. Um so we'll see how that goes. Schemes! What's that? Is that the poison you got me? Can I have it? Hey. No, hey. that poison. <coughs> oh, shukrandla. Is that Mama's gift? <coughs> you gave me very nice Mother's Day today. Very nice. <coughs> hey. I love it. At the minute, she's just coming out. Oh, Bismillah. She's just coming out with so much like jibber jabber. <laughs> She literally just talk the absolute nonsense and it's like the cutest thing when you hear like all the nonsense she speaks. She's like making all these little noises and <coughs> Yeah. Hi. Say bye bye. Do bye bye. <laughs> Almost. <coughs> hey. Are you gonna have a cozy night with your mama? Oh. <laughs> Oh, that on camera memes. You hit yourself. Oh, Mia. Stop hitting yourself. I literally, <laughs> she's so funny. Um, yeah, I've not got changed out of my pajamas all day and I have absolutely loved it. We've literally just been chilling out. Hi. Hi. Had the nicest time. I'm not really, I don't think really showing you guys much, but we just sat, sort of sat down, had them pancakes. Marcus thinks they made it feel a little bit unwell, but. I don't know. I'm starting to feel a little bit unwell because I was sat in the back of the car with Mia because she was whinging a little bit and I thought she might go to sleep so I'm just keep her awake but luckily she's wide awake as you can see. But yeah, then I started to feel unwell. I was like, oh, this is not going to board well for the cosy evening I had planned for us. <laughs> so I need to go ahead and feed the cats now. They need feeding. And I think after that I'm going to get unready again. I'm going to take my makeup off. To be honest, I don't even know why. I bothered wearing makeup today because well there was just no need <laughs> I, don't know, I, I just thought oh I'll get ready uh, but then I just ended up sitting in my pyjamas all day which has been very very nice relaxing what are you doing girl yeah I'm gonna go and feed the cats bless them they're all hovering about right now wanting their food oh Mia oh you see I just had a shower but I think she's got potato waffle in my hair this is the life of a mum, isn't it? <laughs> Even if you try to get ready, you can't. Oh, she will be nice. I think she's very close to bedtime, to be fair. So as much... What are you doing? <coughs> hey! <coughs> Look at her. Hey! Is it bedtime? Is it bedtime? <coughs> is it night-night? <coughs> hey! Marcus is downstairs washing up and hoovering up, bless him. And I was like, feels like to be fair, it's, like Marcus. it's not anything out of the usual because Marcus does it a lot anyway. But I, there's just something special about knowing that I don't have to lift a finger today. 
yeah i hope everyone's had a really nice mother's day so far by the time you see this and that anyone whether it's a biological mother whether it's a mother in name whether it's you know there's so many relationships where someone could be a mother figure to you hope you've all had it, the loveliest of time but I still can't see the bad paint job. <laughs> so yeah, I've just filled Mia's machine up with water. I'm just going to make her a bottle and get her down to bed. And then Marcus is on his game night tonight. I was like, surely you'd give Mother's Day a miss. However, he's not been on it for the last two days. So I was like, okay, I can accept a cod night tonight. Because today is just my relaxing time. And you guys know when I sort of chill out and I like my... One second, I need to count these three. When I like my me time, that I just can't think of anything better than like usually it's a bath with like a bath bomb, but not really feeling that at the minute. And if it's not that, I love just sort of winding down and watching YouTube. Honestly, I'm so addicted to watching YouTube videos. <laughs> so for me, I was just like, you can go ahead and go on COD because. I've not been able to sit down and catch up with like my favourite YouTubers for absolutely ages. Not able to hear me. So I was like, I was more than happy to sort of curl up in bed, get the laptop on or get the TV on and just catch up on all my favourite YouTube videos. So yeah, I need to go ahead and get memes down for bed. We've not even eaten yet, so I'm hoping to actually get me asleep before my food arrives, which means I can eat in peace. I fed her, um, so she's had her dinner now and then I'd like to eat mine in peace. That would be very ideal before Marcus jumps on if we can grab a bite to eat together. Mark's still got football on, but this is what I've got. Hello, my love. Sorry, it's not the most flattering light. We ate quite a while ago. Marcus is now playing on COD. I am going to get ready for bed. I think I'm going to read a little bit, and then I'm going to go ahead and catch up on my vlogs that I love to watch. And then I also need to do YouTube comments. I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm really bad at YouTube comments, but I promise you I'll get to them eventually. I appreciate every single one of you that leaves the comments and likes and everything it genuinely means so much to me and I will get better at responding a lot quicker however I am always a hundred miles an hour every single day and sometimes I don't know if I'm coming or going and it's it's just a lot it's a lot right now but I did say a couple of vlogs ago I'd show you bits that I ordered however I can't show you everything because I can't remember everything that I ordered from Fourth and reckless so i'm just gonna show you one of my favorite pieces what else did i order i ordered some trousers i don't know where they are a shirt oh a bodysuit i'm not gonna bother finding that i'll show you these two because they're like my favorite pieces i'd usually try it on for you guys but i really can't bother trying now uh, so it's like this shirt and if i bring it a little bit closer it's like it's just tiny tiny squares you wouldn't call that herringbone definitely not you wouldn't call that dog tooth I don't know just a very nice shirt a very nice material as well it's not soft but it's not too rigid it's like a nice in between it's coming up a little bit paler in on cameras to what it is in real life in life in real life it's more of a brownish color as to it looks a little bit yellow on there but uh yeah so i really like that and if you follow my instagram you'll have seen it on there i styled it up on a reels and then also this jacket i've not worn this out yet but how beautiful is this jacket this is a herringbone style let me focus and honestly it is just so beautiful i can't wait to wear this out and like i said to you this is like a timeless piece that i know i'll be able to wear every single year because this won't go out of style it's just like a nice tailored jacket and i can't wait to wear it again and again and plus the buttons are like material buttons and you know buttons are very important to me because I think they can either make or break an item. And material buttons are always a win because those look more expensive. 
um, or help the item look more expensive than what it is. But yeah, I just thought I'd quickly show you those two bits because I promised you that try and haul for ages and I never did it. But if you do want to see the clothes themselves, you can see them on Instagram. I did have a massive clear out of my wardrobe and I've chucked away, I think, four black bin bags of clothes when i said chucked away i mean i gave some to my nieces so i gave them literally a bin bag full and then also i gave the rest of them to charity not chucked it away it's a bad choice of words but it felt very good to clear out however i still think i could clear out a little bit more but i'm not gonna do it just yet because there's a lot of items that i'm still wearing at the moment and they you know i don't think the weather's changing anytime soon so i'm just keep it as it is i don't like at the end of the day is taking my eyebrows off because they're not the same shape as what <laughs> they are when i draw them in um they're obviously a lot neater once i've built them in so seeing them when they go is very sad for me but i do think i would look at potentially microblading if any of you guys have had any experience with microblading please let me know how it went for you and yeah, whether you liked it and whether you'd recommend it. I mean, last time I watched my eyebrow lady back, which obviously was over a year ago, because I've not had my eyebrows done in like, or, well, yeah, over a year now. Uh, she said she didn't think I need it, but I don't think it would make a bit of a difference. But yeah, I just really can't wait to get into bed. I'm literally so happy with my skincare routine right now. I'm so happy with like the UFO2 and everything that I use. And I just think it's made such a massive difference to my skin to get it to where it is now. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and jump into bed marks made me a lovely drink with ice I'm going to have that get into bed watch a couple of YouTube videos not going anything else too exciting for you guys so I hope everyone had the most special Mother's Day um, I hope that you all had a lovely day regardless of what you were doing and uh, I will also leave the link for Furio in the bio so you can go ahead and click on that and yes thank you so much for watching guys i had a wonderful day it's been very relaxed very chilled i've just sort of been enjoyed like the chill vibes and i will see you guys uh soon for the next one bye